A 7.2 magnitude earthquake struck Taiwan this morning. Buildings fell to the ground. Thousands ran out of their homes. Tsunami warnings were issued in Japan and the Philippines. In Taipei, the metro service came to a standstill. So far, there are reports of at least nine earthquake-related deaths. Our next report looks at how well-prepared Taiwan is for mega quakes like these. This was the result of a 7.2 magnitude earthquake. It struck Taiwan a little before 8 a.m. local time this morning. A multi-story building in Hualien collapsed in the middle of a busy road. Not too far away, people could not believe their eyes when they saw a building tilt 45 degrees. Another building met the same fate. The epicenter of the quake was 18 kilometers from this city of Hualien. These tremors were the strongest Taiwan had felt since 1999. In September that year, a 7.6 magnitude quake struck the island. 2,400 people died. It remains Taiwan's deadliest natural disaster. The memories of that quake came back to life this morning, when plates and glasses crashed to the floor at homes. Lights began swinging and apartment buildings shook. The strong tremors also woke up this dog owner and her pets. In the capital city of Taipei, the metro operations were briefly stopped. It resumed within an hour. Work was temporarily stopped at some of the plants of the world's biggest chip maker, the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company. Taiwan's National Legislature Building, which was originally a pre-World War II school, suffered damages to its walls and ceilings. Taiwan's residents were told to check their homes for gas leaks. It was shaking very violently. All the motorcycles outside our house toppled over, so I quickly switched off the gas and the electrical source and opened the main door. Tremors were also felt in China's Fujian province and in Hong Kong. Following the quake, tsunami warnings were issued in Taiwan, the Philippines and Japan, leading to mass evacuation. In Okinawa, for example, people were seen moving to higher grounds. Everyone's alerts went off while we were on the monorail, saying a tsunami was coming. An alert? Yes, yes. And as soon as we arrived here, they asked us to move straight to the third floor because we couldn't stay at the shops downstairs. Back in Taiwan, at least 25 aftershocks followed, some of them as strong as 6.5 magnitude on the Richter scale. So far, there are reports of at least nine earthquake-related deaths. Seven hikers were crushed to death by boulders. A truck driver died too after his truck was hit by a landslide. Some of the landslides were caught on camera. This footage was captured from a moving train. Someone on a boat filmed rocks tumbling down Taiwan's Gushan Island, which is also known as Turtle Mountain Island because of its shape. We are ready to face the situation and we will work on this together. How well prepared is Taiwan to deal with such earthquakes? Taiwan lies along the Ring of Fire. The 40,000-kilometer ring along the Pacific Ocean has strong tectonic and seismic activities. 75% of the Earth's volcanoes are located along the Ring of Fire. 
70% of the earthquakes occur along this path, too. As per the United States Geological Survey, at least 2,000 earthquakes with a magnitude of 4 or above have hit Taiwan since 1980. Of them, at least 100 have measured 5.5 magnitude or above. Experts believe that Taiwan has among the world's most advanced earthquake preparedness. The island has strict building codes, widespread public education. It regularly conducts earthquake drills at schools and at workplaces. Taiwan also has a world-class seismological network. These measures put together make Taiwan significantly resilient to earthquakes. What it also does is limits the loss of life and the damage to property. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.